Hey, what's up guys? It's all over here. And today we'll be looking at the elemental weapons, uh space viking or something they're called. In any case, they're elemental weapons and uh let's check them out directly. So, once you install the uh the mod, you'll have to go to a blacksmith forge anywhere of course in Skyrim. I chose this place. Work that hammer woman in the background. Anyway, let's see. Daedric, so first of all, you have to create this elemental smithing knowledge cube now oh, that's a mouthful and this looks very evil so I'm sure that'll do greater good to this world of Skyrim uh, so now you made that oh yeah and you need uh, you need three oh no just one fire salt uh, void salt and a frost salt I think yeah so once you've done that and all of these are under the daedric section and you have equipped you can just make you can make any of these elemental weapons now they're the storm weapons the ice weapons and the flame weapons um, I will create one from each category just to give you guys a better idea so maybe the uh, let's take the sword from the flames uh, ice dagger and the storm greatsword yeah good stuff so let's see how these look of course I chose this place because here there's people I can attack like this woman I will kill you you know that right let's see um, well here we go so 35 damage for sword 28 for the dagger and 27 for that okay so they each do different damages as well and they have um, they all have special effects apparently but what I do know is you can enchant all of them let me show you that bef before I start attacking of course uh, I think, yeah, here's an enchanting table. So you can see here, you can choose the, um, they're completely enchantable, and you can enchant them with anything you like, although I don't have any enchantments because I don't know, how I never uh, enchant items, but you're free to add any enchantment you want. So this is how the longsword looks, the fire longsword. Looks really nice in my opinion. It has a great fiery glow of course to it and the ice dagger is here no it's kind of a uh, steam so it looks like so it's giving off ice. steam and it's turning into ice wow that's really cool anyway moving on we have the great sword which is basically um, like a lightning sword looks pretty yeah futuristic Skyrim in the age of Harry Potter aha that's what it looks like all right so this will be used against this person, Hermir Strongheart. Hello, and now I say, bye bye. Oh, wow! I didn't even get a penalty. Now I did. Die. Ooh, yeah, that's what you get. So this is obviously powerful, but very slow, as you can see. Hey, my two-handed increase. It's a very slow attacking weapon. Now, if we switch to the other weapon, the ice dagger, it's going to be extremely fast because it's a dagger, of course. But you see, the damage is quite a bit less, actually. Um, and you can see here, it's kind of invisible. It looks pretty cool. What are you looking at? So, it's more for the quick attacker, if you prefer that. And then we have the fire, the flame sword, I mean, which looks the best, in my opinion. Kind of like a dragon tooth which is a mixture of the fast attacking and the high damage so that's why it's perfect I think ah yeah die oh nice killing move alright so that was that now you guys know how these weapons look and how they attack um, I think they're great but, but I still always prefer my Frostmourne sword this one over here to pretty much any weapon. Anyway, thanks for checking this out, guys. Uh, link is in the description as usual, and make sure to check out the mod on the uh, on the Skyrim Nexus. See you guys next time. I've been a bit out of sorts.